What's up guys? Um, it's been a minute since I've put up a video. Uh, things here kind of got pretty crazy and busy. Um, the Corvette is on the other side of the garage now, which uh, is interesting. And um, there's my shelf is gone. That was over there. <laughs> I used to put the Miata over here. Um, the Miata actually is, I'll explain that in a sec, but um, we've had some changes going on. Uh, the supercharged Mustang I sold, um, the YJ, which is right out there, is actually pending sale. I, I got to finish a couple things on it, and then uh, a guy from work, I think, is going to buy it, or one of my, my one buddy Josh really wants it. So uh, we're going to move those down the road, and it was not the original plan. Um, didn't need money for anything other than the fact that my wife sent me something on Facebook, and you know, when you get an opportunity to do something with your wife that she wants to do, you, you do it. So some guy, you know, sometimes it's taking a class or doing whatever. Well, in my case, uh, <laughs> when your wife goes, Hey, I've always wanted one of these and I really like this one and I would really like to have it. You know, you, you make some sacrifices and you do it. So, uh, this is my wife's 1979 Pontiac Trans Am. Uh, I don't know how well the, the LED lights mess with the uh, the color, but it's a little darker than it looks in the in the pictures. Under the LED, it makes it look orange, but dude, it's it's red. Um, so uh, older gentleman on Facebook, uh, he put this up for sale. He bought it. He was having some health issues and bought it because he thought it was going to be the only chance he had. Pat got through the health issues and realized he only drove it. I think he had it three years. He put like. 500 miles, 400 miles on it. I mean, he barely drove it. He would polish it, um, which is not why it looks the way it looks right now. I'll tell you that in a sec. Uh, he'd polish it once a year and just kind of put around in it. Um, the car was originally blue. Uh, it is a 403 Buick with the automatic. Uh, this year got um, this year got the 403 with the autos and the 400 with the four speeds. Uh, 373 rear end, has long tube headers and an intake and a carb. This is just how I got it, except I had hybrid Asian uh, that my detailing guy, George, who's amazing. Um, he went and put Kenzo's new five-year ceramic on it. He did a correction on it. I mean, it is ridiculous. I mean, it's a little dirty because I, I drove it home from his place uh, on back roads, which I'll explain here in a sec. Uh, you know, proper exhaust tips and everything. Uh, it's just a really nice example of a 1979 that's not so nice that you can't drive it. A um, couple things. It was blue on blue with blue vinyl buckets and AC. Uh, obviously, somebody painted it, and they did a pretty good job. Paint job's pretty nice. Uh, there's some period okay uh, pinstripes. Um, they took out the center AC vents and put in some extra gauges. They've got a terrible Jensen stereo in here. Uh, when they put the red interior in, they covered the center console and whatever that is. I hate it. Uh, that's probably going to come off. Uh, also the dash. So you have this dash pad here, which is red. And then here is metal. It's probably painted blue. Um, they covered it in that same material and I hate it. So, uh, though that's going to change. Uh, the other thing is it's got a 373 rear end with a three speed. So... It's like 60 on the highway is about all you get before it starts to kind of like get way too revvy and loud and um you know I this is a cruiser it's not gonna be a race car i gotta keep telling myself that because i have a problem and that's like i gotta turn everything into a race car so my wife's car it's a cruiser she wants to drive it around uh, you know we'll take the kids to uh cars and coffee that kind of thing in it so i gotta you know check myself but i do have some things i'm gonna do uh, my buddy Rob gave me a 4L60, an, an early one, so it's, you know, like an updated 700R4, no electronics. It might have a lockup, I don't know, off the look. Um, I'm going to swap the Turbo 350 out of this, put the 400 in, or the 4-speed in, so that I have an overdrive, so we can actually go on the highway. Um, so that is the biggest thing, and it's not as big of a job as it sounds, so probably this fall, maybe this winter. Uh, the other thing is, when... Probably also this winter, but we'll see how long we can deal without it. No AC. Uh, original AC car, but there's no AC in it now. So I'm going to do a vintage air system. Uh, so when the dash comes out, I'll do that. I'll probably have um, 
the interior guy, I already talked to him about doing the dash. He's going to come and probably wrap this in either red or black vinyl to match this. We'll, we'll see. Acro appropriate is black or body color. I, I don't know. We'll figure that out when it gets closer. And I'm also probably going to have him redo that in vinyl because it's just, eh, I don't know. It needs broken up in the middle. That The carpet, I don't know, the upholstery on the upholstery on the red carpet is too much. Uh, I've got some nice black mats for it to kind of break that up a little bit. Um, stereo, I've got some new kick panels. We'll put six and a halves up front, new six by nines in the back. We're just going to ignore the fact that it has that goofy center speaker. I'm going to eliminate that at some point. When, probably when the dash comes out to do the AC, I'll pull that speaker out and get rid of it. Um, what else? Oh, I'm going to put a new carb on it. It's 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 got a, an Edelbrock carb on it, but it's old. Uh, the accelerator pump's starting to get weak. So I'm going to go ahead and yank that and make that a... Uh, uh, just something, you know, it's nice when you get a new car because everything tends to work a little better. This may leak a little bit. Sometimes you get a hard start after it's been warm. Um, I wonder if it's like the, uh, what is it, the bowls leak or whatever into the intake. I can't remember. I'm not a carb guy at all. So I'm still a novice when it comes to that. Under the hood is decent. Needs a couple things. Let me see if I can get it open here with one hand. Oh, you're going to go black for a sec. Okay, so under the hood is pretty pretty tidy. Uh, they painted the fender wells and everything like this gray color. I like it. It looks good. A uh, little bit of a boomer touch with with that. We may change that up a little bit. And the intake's looking a little tired. A um, couple things in here I'll probably tidy up. I, I did tighten the belts and everything. The guy, um, they were so loose. I couldn't believe they would squeak when you'd rev it. Um, let's see what else. <sighs> Um, I mean, there's your long tubes down there, you know, power steering, power brakes. So, you know, okay option car. Um, you know, nothing crazy. Unfortunately with these Buicks, I can't find any cool like valve covers or anything for it. So I don't know if you guys know of any cool 403 valve covers that say Pontiac or anything. I'd like to get rid of the Chrome. It's not really my, my jam. Um, so, you know, pretty clean under the hood. Nothing crazy. Um, just a good, honest car. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of where we're at at this point on this this thing. Um, just some updates, but you know, hey, if your wife wants to go and hit some car shows with you and cruise around, and you know, we can throw the kids in the back, and it's a lot more tame than the absurd supercharged Mustang. Um, it's kind of a good fit for us. So you know, classic enough to be cool and not so old that we're afraid to drive it. So anyway, guys, I just kind of want to give you an update. Uh, the vet. It's actually running awesome. Um, I'm going to get my tuner over here to clean up the tune a little bit at some point. i got a wide band to put in it and stuff. But for now, this is kind of like the the driver. i got to throw the stereo in because I can't live without a decent stereo. So anyway, that's just an update of what we got going on over here. And uh, the, the Miata is at my buddy's house getting a crazy eight-point roll cage. It's getting painted bright orange. I'll, I'll do a video on that once I get into that. But uh, it's it's going to be pretty wild. I figured we were, I took it over to do door bars and then it turned into a full eight point cage. So anyway, guys, have a good one. Sorry I haven't posted in a while. Hope everybody's doing well. See ya.